Today, a Devon and Cornwall Police Custody Sergeant and two Police Staff Custody Detention Officers were found not guilty of gross negligence manslaughter following a six-week trial at Bristol Crown Court. I fully recognise the impact of these long-running and difficult proceedings upon the family of Mr Thomas Orchard, his loved ones and friends with whom my thoughts and condolences remain. The trial has followed an independent police complaints investigation into the circumstances surrounding the death of Mr Thomas Orchard in October 2012 following his detention at Hevertree Police Station nearly four and a half years ago. The investigation and criminal proceedings has had a significant impact on all three Devon and Cornwall Police colleagues, Sergeant Jan Kingshot and Detention Officers Simon Tansley and Mick Marsden. That impact has also fallen on their families. All three colleagues and other members of the force involved in this matter have maintained their professionalism throughout. There remains further considerations by the Independent Police Complaints Commission. We now await further information and direction from them on this matter. Additionally, there will be further investigation by them and the Health and Safety Executive into corporate matters with which the force has cooperated. As the corporate head in my role as Chief Constable, I await decisions from them and the Crown Prosecution Service. I'm not able to say any more in respect of those matters. Custody staff and colleagues within Devon and Cornwall continue to be professional and to serve our communities, often under extreme and very difficult circumstances. Amongst our 25,000 or more detentions each year, so very many of those detainees are vulnerable through emotional crisis, mental ill health, physical ill health and substance misuse. Those detentions, conditions and practices within custody are scrutinised and reported upon independently by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary, the Police and Crime Commissioner, the Independent Custody Visitor Scheme and where relevant other independent regulatory bodies such as the Health and Safety Executive. In closing, my thoughts and those of the force at this time are with the family, loved ones and friends of Mr Thomas Orchard.